One day at Brendam Docks, Henry and Fluttershy were looking for a spot to rest. But Percy and Pinkie Pie were chatting with some visiting engines. They were telling him about the time that they faced a flash flood to help Thomas and Twilight. It was raining heavily on us. Water was sliding all over my boiler. It was so bad, Pinkie and I couldn't see where we were going. But we struggled uh -huh. on. Even though I'm afraid of floods, we Pinkie promised to Thomas and Twilight that we'd get their passengers home. No matter what! Oh my! You and Pinkie Pie must have brave guts to face that storm by yourself. That takes a lot of courage, I must say. Quite impressive. Well, it wasn't anything life threatening or anything. But if there's one thing I learned about floods, is that water's nothing to an engine or pony with determination. Ooh, tell us what happened next, Percy. I'm just dying to hear the conclusion. What are you mainlanders doing here? This shed is for Northwestern Rally engines only. Get out of here! Silly bludgers. Henry! Don't be rude to these engines! Even though they're from the mainland, but they're still steam engines like you and Percy! Now apologize! Apologize? Never! We solar engines do not socialize with mainland engines! Silly bludgers. Sorry about that. Henry, just being a little grumpy because he took a lot of bad cold this morning. Oh, that's okay, cute pony. Me and Jeffrey here understand. Looks like Ryan is right. As long as Henry is still about, we are not staying where we're not welcome. Wait! Henry, now look what you did! You shoot up my friends! Percy and Pinky were enjoying themselves until Henry spoiled their fun. I'm ashamed at you, Henry! Just because they're neighbors from across the border doesn't mean you can be mean to them! And besides, they're not silly! They are silly, and so are you and Percy. Water's nothing to an engine and pony with determination. Despicable. Uh, never mind that. I'm not afraid of water. I think I like it. Then he ran off with Pinky singing a silly tune. Once an engine attached to a train was afraid of a few drops of rain. There, you see? That must feel pretty awful being pushed around like you did with those other engines. <sighs> Maybe you're right, Fluttershy. 
It seems like nobody ever lets me forget what happened to me three years ago when I wouldn't want to come out of Vickerstown Tunnel. Back when I had ombrophobia and thought rain would wash off my paint. It's okay, Henry. Everyone makes mistakes. Later, Percy and Pinky found Thomas in Twilight. They were looking at a notice board on the key. Hey, Thomas! What are you in Twilight looking at? Just looking at the familiar sign from last year's mishap at the lead mines. Yes, and look on what it says. Hmm. All I can see is a big word in red saying, Danger! That's right, Pinky. We mustn't go past it. That's Railway Company orders. Why's that? Well, for one thing, danger means you'll be falling down from something. I went past the danger sign once last year and nearly fell down a mine shaft. What? There's no mine around here? Yes, indeed. All I see is nothing but water. Water and more water. They didn't know that parts of the foundation of the key had sunk years ago. The rails now sloped downward to the Sundrian Sea. <laughs> Stupid board! He then began making a plan. Next day, he whispered to the cars. Uh, hey guys! You need to give me a little bump when we get in that key on the Brendan docks? The cars were surprised. They'd never been asked to bump an engine before. They giggled and chattered about it during the trip. Binky doesn't know what I'm up to. Whoa! Watch it back there, you great clowns! The trucks were just doing as they were told. But Percy thought they were helping him with his plan. I'll pretend to stop at the storage shed. The cars will push me past the board, then make them stop at the end of the key. With that, I can do that whenever I want without getting hurt or wet. If Percy wasn't so concerned, he would have thought of this silly idea. Because every wise engine pony knows that you can't trust freight cars. With that said, they bumped Pinky Pie off of Percy's footplate. Pinky watched in horror as her engine was sliding past the board. Percy was frightened. What's enough? Within seconds, Percy was sunk. He even felt very silly and very wet. Percy, I can't believe you pulled a dangerous stunt like that. You're a very disobedient engine. Percy knew who that voice was. It was Sir Topham Hat. We're gonna just get me out of the water. I'm very sorry, sir. Sorry, Percy. We can't do that until high tide tonight. I hope it will teach you not to go past the danger sign like what happened to Thomas last year. Yes, sir. It wasn't until midnight that they brought crane barges to rescue Percy. With his fire out, he was too cold and stiff to move on his own. Next morning, he was sent to the steamworks on Henry's freight train. Well, well, well. If it ain't Percy the water engine, did you enjoy swimming in the Cedrian Sea? Does it look like I did? I'm very surprised. You need more determination in your life, Percy. Remember what you said to me yesterday? Percy a break, Henry. He went through a rough time last night. Don't worry, Percy. Not everyone likes being in the water the first time, you know. Perhaps you'll enjoy it better next time. But Percy was quite determined that there won't be a next time ever again.